guys. So today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about David Murphy says TLC set him up and Tom Brooks says he's done with 90 Day Fiance plus more tell all after effects. Now let's talk about these crazy allegations going around since the tell all has been aired. We're going to talk about David saying that TLC set him up. Then we'll talk about Tom saying that he's done, okay, with 90 Day Fiance. Then we're going to talk about how Sean Robinson feels about them editing out the N word. Damage control time, people. Damage control. That's what I call it. Now, we know that tell-all has been aired. This is how it usually works. The tell-all is aired. They see it a day or two before we see it. Now, you look at yourself on film and see what the show has presented you like to the rest of the world and if you don't look so good you start scrambling for excuses i mean that's how i look at it i mean you weren't saying this before the tell-all so let's start with the most ridiculous in my opinion okay that would be uh david he's saying that tlc intentionally edit the film to make him look bad <laughs> Not just his storyline, okay? He's saying that they tried to make it seem like it was a catfish in the beginning, but it really wasn't a catfish. But what are we supposed to think, David? I mean, she didn't show up until the final episodes. I mean, okay. I mean, I guess I'll just take your excuse. She, he said that they made him look bad. They made him look like a bumbling idiot, okay? I, at least he's right about that part. I mean, can you really blame that on editing? I mean, oh, did, did they make you spend all that money on Lana? Is it TLC's fault? I'm just asking. I'm just, Don't shoot the messenger, people. Don't shoot the messenger. He's saying that no, nothing that TLC did on him was accurate. They made it look like, you know, Lana wasn't in love with him. I mean, she was on a, like a lot of other sites. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, listen. David, shut up. Just shut up, okay? They can only edit what you give them. Now, I think, okay, maybe sometimes they could edit a situation wrong, but the entire season? <laughs> David, don't pee on my leg and tell me that it's raining, okay? It is what it is. I mean, and now that you're looking at it, you see are seeing what the rest of us are seeing, which was, you know, you are a loving idiot, okay? There, I was nice about it. You're a loving idiot. Right, you are right. You look bad on film, okay? But is it really TLC's fault? I'm going to go with no, but that's just me, okay? But listen, in the present time, in real time, he's not seeing Lana anymore. He was spotted on another date. I hope he didn't get this new chick from some kind of website, but uh, it looks like she lives over here. So listen, let bygones be got be bygones. You look the way that you look. Let's just move on. Stop going around saying that, you know, what we saw on film was a lie. Okay. Not all of it. Maybe some, you know, you contributed to this. Maybe, you know, you're embarrassed now. That's all I can come up with. Let's move on. Now let's talk about my favorite, which is Tom Brooks. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy people. Now we all know at the tell all, it came out that he asked his castmate Avery out on a date. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of creeps me out. I mean, he's been filming with this couple all season long. I mean, how long could they have possibly broken up? And then here you go, trying to squeeze, squirm your way in. It just creeps me out. It really does. I'm glad Avery told him no. But, you know, I don't know if I'm being a stickler here. I mean, just, I guess they were, you know, technically broken up. I mean, two whole days, but I guess it's still breaking up, broken up, right? Anyway, um, he didn't have such a pleasant season and um he definitely didn't have pleasant feelings after the tell-all okay so he said that mo uh, some of his castmates became keyboard warriors who the hell are you talking about tom your crew you and your buddies keyboard warriors i mean you're gonna have to include yourself in that i mean that's just what i think but maybe you know i'm wrong he also said that um a lot of the cast came with intentions of stealing the spotlight is he talking about himself again <laughs> I mean, I'm going to need you to be more specific, Tom. I'm going to need you to be more specific. Who in the hell was trying to steal the spotlight besides you? I mean, okay, maybe there was someone else. I, I, and I've forgotten who it was or it could be the whole cast. This whole cast, I would say with the exception of Avery and maybe Erica, they were 
they love camera time, okay? It is what it is, in my opinion, okay? He also said that he's done with coming on 90 Day Fiance. He is done with reality shows, period. Thank you. I mean, in my opinion, in my opinion, he says that if he ever went on a show again, that he would be on Pillow Talk. Well, isn't that 90 Day Fiance? I mean, okay, if you think it's different, he would be on Pillow Talk and Dancing with the Stars. He says that he no longer talks to Avery. That's a good thing, I mean, isn't it? She, I mean, she is your cast member. He says that the only reason that he did the show in the first place was because of Darcy. Okay, yeah, it, all of this, all of the way that you feel that you were done wrong by this show, let's just blame it all on Darcy. You would have never been there if but for Darcy. Or you could look at it a different way that you went after Darcy because you knew she was on the show. I mean, doesn't the coin flip on both sides? In my opinion, in my opinion, I'm just thinking, you know, there could be another side to, you know, your accusations. I'm just saying. Now, I guess at the end of the day, I can understand why Tom wants to be done with 90 Day Fiance, kind of, but not really. And it's because he had a terrible season. I mean, he was mean. He came across as if he was like, just he was just treated Darcy terrible. He called her fat. I mean, he did not give a pleasant, okay, storyline for us this season. Now, uh, is that TLC's fault? Or is it his fault? I'm going to have to go with the latter. But it is what it is. Let's move on now to Sean Robinson. Okay, so we all know that they cut out the N-word on the tell-all. Sean was asked on her social media, how did she feel about them cutting out the N-word? And she said this, being handled as we speak. Can't talk about it. What's being handled? Sean, I'm going to need more information. What the hell is going on? What, 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 who? Hmm? Let's find out, people. I'm having a feeling it'll come out in a couple days what exactly she's talking about. I mean, they did cut it out, but I don't know why because we all knew that it happened. So I don't know. Maybe there's going to be some consequences. I don't know what she means by that, but she certainly means this subject is not over with. Okay, guys, as for now, these are some of the tell-all after effects, uh, how some of the people's feeling after the tell-all. Um, what did I think of the tell-all? I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> it was torturous at times. This season was not so good. I, they had a lot of unethical people, in my opinion, a lot of people really fighting each other for camera time. I want to get back to stories. I want to fall in love with people's stories. I don't want to hear about all of their bad behavior. I mean, it, I thought I was watching Love After Lockup. I mean, it was terrible, people. It was terrible, in my opinion. But as I say, at the end of the day, we all have our different opinions, and that just happens to be mine. So what I want to know today in my comment section is, what do you guys think about this season? Did you like it, or are you like me? I could take a pass. I hope to never see this cast ever again in life. That's just how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.